Hi, I'm Lou Grant. Patricia Oxley. Lou's my editor. I hope I'm not intruding. No, we were just talking about marriage. Ah, girl talk. A couple of career girls. You're both against it, right? Uh, no, as a matter of fact, I'd quit what I'm doing like a shot if I met the right guy. No kidding. I'm glad to hear some of you out there still think like that. You ought to listen to her. Billy, I gotta get going. I'd really like to finish what we were talking about. Okay, maybe we can get together again tonight after work. Um, same coffee shop around 11. Good. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Grant. Nice to meet you, Patricia. Nice girl. Yeah. Reminds me of my daughter. Lou Grant was my big break, my really big break. I played the Hooker episode in Lou Grant, and that's what Lynn Stallmaster saw me on, and that's what I booked 10 on, and then I was off. Off and running. Wow, five. I think I went back five or six times. There were some big players in TV back for that role. It was just mine. What was it like yeah. working with Asner? Oh, God. Again, Ed, I mean, he's a teddy bear. He's just a big teddy bear. Uh, I didn't have a lot of stuff with Ed. Most of my stuff was with, was with Linda, my story arc. Um, the hardest thing for me uh, in, in, in doing Lou Grant was you couldn't change a word. I mean, if you said Anne and it was A, they had to call and pass it, which is not the way I was used to working, doing so many independent films and stuff. You know, you stayed on the dialogue, but you had the freedom to make it your own. So it was hugely, hugely nerve-wracking to me. Somehow my subconscious got, got through with it, but we got to this one scene and the script person who tells you what you have to match came up to me and said, okay, Dee, now on this line you did this, on this line you did that, on that, and you have to, and this line, and I got, I got so focused on that, it was like eight takes later and the director came up and said, what the hell is going on? You have done this every take in one take. What is up? And I said, well, I'm, I'm so concerned about matching all this stuff for the, for the script supervisor. And he went, forget the matching, D. Forget the pencils. Get the lines right and do what you've been doing for the rest of the week. <laughs> and as soon as I had that permission, then, of course, I did everything exactly the way I'd done it. And the, we got the performance on the next take. A little hint any, for actors out there. Do you have any other stories from working on Lou Grant, being early in your career? Well, I was just, it was literally a role of a lifetime for TV. It, it was this hooker who was trying to get out and be a real estate agent, you know. I think for me, the greatest thing that Lou Grant did for me was to see that I had a technique that allowed me to come up with some amazing original things in the spur of a moment. And everybody went, oh my God, where did you come up with that? And it was, it was a real... It was the first time, I think, I said to myself, I'm an equal pro here.